Snow and Nonsense with another Paradise Activity Company juggling lesson. This one's going to be tough because I'm going to try and not hit this microphone while we do a bunch of tricks that involve your head, which is really close to this microphone. So there are some basic concepts. One, if you don't have much hair, it's harder to do the tricks because hair is kind of a cushion and adds an extra amount of friction. But fortunately, I'm very talented. So with a single ball, you have a number of spots to stall a ball on your head. If you raise your eyebrows like this, make a squishy part right here, you can see all these wrinkles. This actually acts as a cushion that you can put the ball on and lean your head back looking at the ceiling and it will sit on there. So that's raising your eyebrows and making all those folds right there. So it's a little bit of a cheat. As well, you have a spot right here on the side of your head, your temple, kind of right next to your eyes, where if you lean over, there's a dip and the ball can kind of sit there. If you lift your head up, boink, you can throw it off into your hand. Same thing on the other side, you can find that dip, lift your head up, throw it off into your hand. The trick is, if you're putting it there, the easiest version is going to be to stay still. Not move and just let it stay on your head. If you start to move around some, Feel what it's like to change your balance, turn direction, boink, and you'll feel it start to roll, but you can always find that balance point again. So a fun one to practice is try and put it on your head, throw it into your hand. Put it on your other temple, throw it into your hand. Put it on your forehead, throw it into your hand. You can also roll it on the top of your head. So everybody's head is a different shape. You have this kind of ridge in the center. Some people can balance a ball right on the side of the ridge on their head because there's this kind of flat spot. And what we're going to do is put the ball on the top of our head and just give it a little push forward to kind of roll it off the top of our head and try and catch it in our hand. Usually if you hold your hands about six inches from your stomach, that's about how far the ball travels forward after it drops off your head. So you notice I don't have to look down very much to know where it's gonna land. Instead of just rolling the ball forward, you can also roll it side to side over your head. And the trick is not throwing the ball onto your head because you can hurt yourself that way and it's not that fun, but you wanna make sure it's in contact with your head and then give it a tiny push over to the other side. Push, and that'll start it rolling back and forth. You can roll it from one hand to the other, down the center of your head, side to side. You can also roll it off the back and that's what a lot of people really enjoy, but it's way harder. Um, to do that, first we're going to lean over, keep our back straight, lift our head up, lift our shoulders up, and if you notice, I look like I have a walker and I'm about to cross the road, like I'm 90 years old, but there's also now a pocket here behind the neck and the ball can sit right there on that pocket. And it's really important, same way we balance the ball on our head and started moving around to be able to get comfortable with it, do the same thing back there where you put it on the back of your neck and then move around a little bit, turn in a circle, do some hops. As you feel it start to fall off, just find the balance again, boing can spring it off your head. Um, but that's gonna be the safety point because if you drop the ball off the back of your head, you want it to either land in your neck 
or right between your shoulder blades where you have this line going right down your back. Because to just drop it off your back without leaning over is kind of hard. You want to lean down just a little bit, lift your head, and see if you can have it roll down your back. So, that's a lot of head tricks. If you are really adventurous and you want to try the ones with two, you can try doing, uh, try two in one hand and put roll two over right in a row or roll both down your head or one on one side, one on the other because the more quickly you can practice a trick so you don't have to put it in your other hand, put it on the other side. If you just get comfortable with trying it on either side, rolling it across, down the front, all those tricks are gonna be way easier and way more fun. And they have a three ball version. Like, it's not just that you do this one trick and that's the whole thing because if you can roll to this hand, roll, throw to the other side. Roll, throw. And this is just the normal cascade throw, but when you do the trick, then try and do a normal throw to the other side. If I lay the ball on this side, and I'm gonna catch it in here, as soon as I do the head trick, throw the other ball. So any of these tricks we're doing with two balls, you can either lead into the head trick with a throw, so throw up, roll, or you can do the head trick and then a normal throw. Roll, throw, roll, throw, off the front throw, off the front throw. Any of those combinations make it much easier for when you have three and you wanna continuously roll off your head, or do this weird, silly Mickey Mouse trick. Call it Mickey Mouse like that. <laughs>